so we're off to the shops again I got my Woolies bags over here it's like a big bag because they don't have plastics there so I just have to make sure because every time we go I always forget the bags so I am ready and loaded it is Saturday it's around 12 p.m. I've got my list of groceries and everything ready so let's go honey packet you've ever seen. So we just came back from buying all this grocery stuff from Woolies. I am so excited to show you everything that's in the bags. Some of the things I'm excited to try for the first time. But I'm really, really sad because the Woolies that's by us is like five minutes away from us. And they are closing down. Apparently business is not booming. Like we are not giving enough business. Come on, guys. Please stay. So now it means we need to find a new Woolworths to go shop and do all these other things with. But anyways, let me show you what we bought. This is in bag number one over here. Oh, I'm so excited for this. So we bought this instant vanilla matcha latte. I've been wanting to try matcha latte for a minute. Whenever we go to like a coffee shop or anything like that, I always go for the mocha or the hazelnut and I've been wanting to try matcha. So we're gonna try it together in this video together and I'm just gonna give you some feedback. But if you've tried matcha latte, let me know in the comments down below. This one kind of has vanilla in it, so I'm pretty excited for it. And it has good health benefits and all that good stuff. But besides the health benefits, I'm just gonna be real with you. I've been wanting to try it. That's period, okay? <laughs> All right, so here we bought some oats and honey flavored white bread. My husband loves this bread, loves this bread. It tastes amazing as well. I don't know, maybe I might just try and see if I can also just bake it to see like what's good because I've been baking like a lot of oat stuff and yeah, just to see how it is. Oats, honey, like two of my favorite things put into one little packet. So I'm pretty excited to like make sandwiches. I missed sandwiches as well so i'm pretty excited for this and to see how everything is going to go so yeah so we bought some blueberries yeah i know blueberries from woolies you know that price tag make you choke just a little bit like <coughs> am i really getting this but i'm gonna tell you something they last for so long like i've bought blueberries and fruits from other places within like days they're already mushy but these stay fresh the other time i actually was saving them for like a recipe later 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 and they lasted almost like two weeks and they were not off and they were still crunchy and fresh so i'm happy for these just gonna have them like in yogurt or i'll see if i bake with them we'll just see what we can do with them and something interesting and something yummy let me know if you're a fan of blueberries all right so here we bought some ripen at home avocados last time our a comment came through from one of you lovely people from the from the community i appreciate you so much and you're like to ripen the uh, to ripen avocados you use like you put in banana and apple and then you tie it together and then they ripen a bit quicker i actually tried it the last time and it worked so i'm definitely going to do that with these ones with some bananas that i have so yeah this is gonna be a quick ripening because now it's winter i usually would leave them out when it's summer within like a day or two they're already ready and good to go so the banana and the apple method and then tying it together putting it in a bag really really works oh also on the avocados there's some recipes that i want to try with them so what i want to do with like the food that we're eating is to kind of limit the amount of have like a balance between you know the meat and the veg and the greens and everything else so like a flexitarian i'm not gonna call myself a vegetarian because i do not want to offend people that are fully vegan and so but i'm trying to also just limit the amount of carbs and the amount of meat products that we eat and then just kind of balance it out especially for like our lunch or even like our suppers so i'm pretty excited to be sharing those recipes on the channel they're gonna involve a lot of avocado because i love avocado speaking of that plain yogurt so we got the plain yogurt that we're gonna be using with the blueberry I also use it for baking you can do a lot with plain yogurt and there is like a chickpea stew that I wanted to try and definitely gonna use the plain yogurt I was looking for coconut 
but I didn't find it because like I was saying the shop that we went to they were clearing out I think by the second of next month they would be gone already so yeah I'm gonna substitute that with some plain yogurt or if I can order the coconut cream then I'll definitely do that we talked about this cute little honey like it's such a cute bottle it's so cute like it's so cute I'm gonna use this in the latte and if I need any salad dressing that needs honey I am definitely going to you know use the honey it's a local honey choice it's orange blossom flavored they have different flavors and you know i just try to see which one i like sometimes it's plain sometimes it's like the darker looking ones they are different flavor this one is orange blossom flavored so here we bought some fabric softener from the woolies one i've been loving the woolies brand so i've been continuing i tried comfort i've done stay soft so now trying the Woolworths uh, brand and it's definitely working this one is baby sensitive and delicate three in one concentrated refill and then some sensodyne toothpaste as well anything in this bag okay empty moving on to bag number two okay this one seems like it wants to just fall over we bought some mixed peppers because I love them so much. They just add really nice color to like food, whether it's like salads or anything that you're going to cook. I always like to add them last so that they don't lose their color and their crunch. So mostly like in salads and all that stuff. So I am pretty, pretty excited that, you know, we bought these mixed peppers. Let me know if you're also a fan of peppers. These ones are not hot, so we're okay. We're okay. Oh my god, guess what happened when it came to the carrots? <laughs> the cashier, because it was a special of two, so now we're the two wondering why the, you know, because whenever we're in the grocery store and I'm shopping, I'm always calculating. Yes, I'm that crazy person that's always like, what did we add? We calculate so that I know, like, how much we are paying for everything else. So then when she's now ringing everything, she's like, no, you guys are like over. I'm like, what? Then she rang like three carrots instead of the two. Oh my god, she felt so bad. So now we're like, no, it's okay. Um, it's not your fault. It's fine. Then they have to call the manager to bring the two because it was like a special. But anyways, we're here. <laughs> So we bought these two carrot packs because they were on a special on the rewards I think if you're just buying without the rewards card, it was like 25 rand So I guess you save like three rand for getting the two packets with the carrots I use them for everything when it comes to supper when it comes to wraps when it comes to salads They just work for everything and they taste really yummy even just to wash them and then just have a carrot like this as a snack And then dip it in mayonnaise or whatever that you have can definitely do that and it definitely works out so i'm pretty excited for the carrots wild story some vitamin c for winter for winter okay so <laughs> we usually get these little sweet um clement what is it uh, tangerines these guys have so many names please let me know in the comments what you call these some are known as nachis some are known as tangerines they so many names for for this so let me know in the comments i'll just see you can just say tangerine nachi and i will definitely know what you'll be talking about so we usually buy the the little ones they are sweet they those ones are for kids i know i know but they are sweet they are really nice and sweet so i'm really interested to see how these are gonna taste i don't know if these are like a mix between orange and um and nachi or just pure nachi or pure tangerine see how it goes with the naming so here we bought this packet. I really, really love this packet that they updated to. It has thighs and uh, drumsticks. So it's eight of each. I just take off the skin and we're off to the races. I love me some chicken. Chicken will always be chicken. I don't think you ever get tired of having chicken. Like I do not. Let me know if you get tired of having chicken. Grill, bake, everything. You just do with chicken and you're good. So this bag is just full of greens, I promise you. Here we bought some celery. I eat everything from the root all the way to the leaves. They are amazing. Celery is just yummy. I know some people don't like celery from the taste and the smell and I get it. I get it. It's not for everybody, but I love it so much. Especially like for making uh, soy stews and everything. It's like basic carrots, celery, onion, potatoes. You've got a nice stew brewing and even vegetable stock or anything like that celery just goes a long way or just having it like that cut it up you know make it look nice and cute dip it in peanut butter any dip that you want it's it's, it's really really yummy 
we bought some cucumber they were not on special it was just one one for one i just like to have some cucumber around uh for salads for snacking when you're just having that craving you're like you know what let me just cut up some cucumber put on some dip and then just chill and have them but usually i like to have them in wraps or in salads i don't know if you can cook these but yeah no that's usually like zucchini i know they look so similar to each other Ooh, over here we bought some solo leaf rocket aka arugula so <laughs> when i first didn't know that they were called solo leaf rocket here in south africa then you would you would watch recipes and someone would be like so then we put in some arugulas i'm like no man i've seen this type of salad i go and look for it but here it's not called arugula let me know what you call it do you call it um you know leaf rockets or do you call it arugula what do you call this type of you know salad leaf let me know in the comments i am excited for this because i saw a recipe where you can make like an avocado and solo rocket or arugula type of dip for your salads or anything like that as a salad dressing or salad topping so i'm pretty excited to try it out oh my god and just to have a salad with different leaves inside just makes everything so interesting here we bought a mix of broccoli and cauliflower usually i just roast these i just put them in the oven sprinkle some olive oil some salt some pepper or any spices that you want if you are you know you want to make it spicy and then they'll be ready you just throw them in a salad in your food anything or just put them in your stew in the pressure cooker and yeah bob's your uncle so we also bought some garlic so here we've got three heads of garlic let me know how you cut garlic i've been seeing so many different ways of you know peeling and cutting it without so much of a problem usually people soak it in water or they smash it with a knife and then it comes out of its peel and then i found a recent way where someone can just like you know lodge in like a dowel knife the one that you use like a butter knife and then you kind of bring out your your garlic and then the the shell comes off i was like oh my god i need to try that so yeah and i just love garlic period I, I, I love it so much and yeah my husband doesn't like it so much so i don't tell him it's in there i just sneak it in there in the food and then you know we just eat it it's good for you it adds like nice aromatics so yeah i just I really really love some garlic over here we also bought some hrabo burvos yes this time i know that it's a mixture of beef and pork it it prepares so quick and i tried to stew it but then when i stewed it then we realized that um my husband and i realized that the the skin kind of becomes very rubbery so just grilling it in the oven is the best way for these guys and i think it's much more convenient that way it's really 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 convenient that way and the skin is nice and crunchy so i just like to experiment to see what's good so i don't know you can recommend like sausages that you guys stew that can just chew off nicely without the skin being rubbery i don't know you can suggest any sausage or burros that you guys have tried that doesn't have this rubbery thing when you're trying to make a stew with it so we bought some olive oil this is premier extra virgin cold extracted olive oil i stand by olive oil it is good for you one of the best oils to have because you are what you eat I know it's kind of you know on the pricier side of things but hey in the long run it comes to that I also noticed that all the other oils went up when things were happening you know around the world when we had the oil problem and everything else so the prices are just closer when I look at like canola oil and I look at this then I'm like wait it's almost the same price so I might as well get the right oil and then there's a whole debate a whole can of worms that you open when you start talking about canola oil is it good for you is it not good for you so I'm not here for the words. I'm just here to let you know that I got some olive oil. <laughs> and then another oil that's really good that we bought is the avocado oil. Same recipe, new packaging. Yeah, this is definitely a new packaging. Last time I couldn't get the bigger one. There was the 250 one. So I was really happy that we managed to get some. We managed to buy some. I was really happy that we managed to buy some avocado oil. It was the same price as the olive oil. So it's just good to have both of them. What I realized is the avocado oil is amazing for cooking and baking because it is a higher smoke point. So which means you can you can saute and fry things for longer without it burning. Whereas the 
extra virgin olive oil if it's not the cooking olive oil it is a the smoking point is quick so whatever you're making it will burn quicker so this is more like for salads or for topping anything off and this is more for cooking and it's like an all-rounder good kind of oil these are so cute <laughs> So I want to make tacos. I was looking for the for the for the tacos, but I couldn't find them. I found them online on the Woolworth site, and then we, we we managed to buy these ones. So the we managed to buy the ten mini white flower wraps. So they are nice and cute. Um, there's nice ways you can fold stuff. You can put guacamole. You can put beans. Talking about beans, I was looking for black beans. They were out, so I will probably buy canned ones. I don't know. Is it hard to get black beans, or I need to look somewhere else? So yeah, these ones you can make. They have a recipe at the back: pickled fish tacos. So I will try those, but then I will make them veg because I want to have them in the afternoon. So I will figure out how to make them nice and yummy, and then we can make some nice tacos with this. I'm excited. I'm really, really excited for this. So here we bought some chickpeas. We usually get the ones in the can, but once you open the can, you now are under like a timer where you are you you need to use them within a specific amount of days. Anything that's canned, once you open it, you must use it quicker. So I just thought, you know what? We have a pressure cooker. It will be quicker just to get these ones and then use the amount of chickpeas that I want for a specific time. So I want to use these chickpeas tomorrow. I'm gonna soak them overnight and yeah, make some chickpeas. These are like a good protein alternative especially they are very high in protein and they are very healthy so if you're looking for like a meat alternative maybe in the afternoon you usually have chicken wraps maybe have like chickpeas wraps and you can grill them after like you boil them to make them more interesting in case you find them bland i know it's not exciting i cannot convince you chickpeas taste better than meat because i love meat and i'll be lying to you but then you can make them interesting for yourself and spice them up and know that you are getting the same amount of nutrition from both of them so if you're trying to just lower down like the amount of meat you eat and then want to substitute with something that is equally as nutritious you can definitely pick some chickpeas and whilst we're on the topic of protein we bought some red speckled beans i was looking for black beans but i did not get them so these are still good i love them so much same process as you do the chickpeas just soak them boil them and you know you're good to go i love using a pressure cooker because it cuts down on the amount of time you may you you boil and make beans because on the stove top it takes forever <laughs> for them to get done so yeah pressure cooker really 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 helps um 45 minutes pressure cooker is usually like 30 minutes I guess it just depends on how long it takes and how soft you like your beans to be so we bought diced tomatoes with herbs in them so I love these canned uh, I love these canned tomatoes they are really really convenient especially when you are just cooking stuff I love the the, the kind of stew that they come in with and I know that um, if you are making like a um, spaghetti bolognese or something like that these work perfectly because of the stew that they come in and the juices that they come in and stuff like that so it's really convenient especially when i'm cooking i just love having these and i guess it cuts down the time that you chop tomatoes and everything else i love having tomatoes so if i don't buy the cans like these i usually buy tomatoes and then i puree them myself and then just keep them like in mason jars and anything like that almost like I'm pickling them but I'm not because I cook them first then I cool them down then I put them just like this so this cuts down on the work and they taste amazing so here we bought some gravy powder I love this gravy powder so much I swear on it I die on it because it tastes amazing with anything that you definitely make you can use it for for vegan meals yeah it does say it's vegan as well so you can put it in any type of stew that you'll be making and it will taste amazing and here we also bought some stock powder anything that i boil even if it's like beans or chickpeas or whatever like just boiling with water is fine but then using stock just adds a bit of flavor to whatever that you are making you can also make your own stock which i am trying to practice if i figure it out i will definitely share it on the channel because you can definitely save because i know when you when it comes to making stock it just takes a long time but it's usually it's like celery 
your carrots everything you just boil it your onion and then you strain it and then you know you kind of use it like that or you don't strain it then you just kind of use the liquid because that's what you want and put it in the fridge then use it when you want to but i guess they make it convenient for you to have when you just buy from the store oh okay this bag is just full of spices and herbs so yeah here we go so we bought some paprika so instead of me buying i usually buy the chicken butter curry chicken spice which i saw is just a mixture of spices so i see that when it comes to certain recipes i have to have some sort of spices so the mix the chicken curry one doesn't have some of the spices that i want so now i want to measure them myself and put the amount of spices and what i'll be looking for so here we've got some paprika it's pungent sweet and it's spicy and then here we bought some cayenne pepper so i'm pretty excited about that they didn't have garlic and onion powder i was really really crushed about that but we'll go back when they do have and then here we got here we bought some ground cumin so i'll be just mixing as i'm cooking and then just trying to figure out what blends i like and how much spice how much like heat do i want in my food and then just kind of control it because you are mixing the spice on your own we also bought some ground coriander and I'm gonna be mixing it up myself with the spices that I want for the food and everything else. And when it comes to the herbs, we bought some thyme over here, some thyme, 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 thyme is thyme. English is weird. Thyme and thyme, different things. You say the same, homonyms, homophones, yeah, same thing. Anyway, so here we've got some thyme um, I'm, I love it so much it adds nice flavors and then we bought some oregano as well I love it as well we have uh, we have rosemary in the garden so we didn't need to buy that it's okay all right and lastly on the herb side we bought some parsley I just love to sprinkle it on top I know it doesn't give the same effect as the fresh parsley which I'm working on getting I know Woolies does sell like those little um, plant pots which have herbs like your basil and all that stuff so next time I'll probably get those I didn't find them this time and if I get them then I'll definitely show them it's just nice to have fresh herbs around but then you know you also have to know how to keep them alive but hey we've been keeping these plants alive the monsteras and everything else so I'm pretty confident that we do have green hands enough to keep plants alive good lord I'm tired <laughs> So we bought these cherry tomatoes and rosa tomatoes i want to use them for recipes that are upcoming and yeah i'm pretty excited for both of them they were on the special for two for 35 as you can see i love these because they're kind of like mixed so you get a bit of color even if you're cooking or you are having like a salad or anything like that and they're add different flavors and taste to everything i know it's weird right it's like you're thinking ah, it's just a tomato but when you taste it some of them are sweet some of them have like a savory kind of taste to it because well tomatoes are fruits but then they're under vegetable so it's basically a confused vegetable right but it's yummy here we bought some baby spinach they were being crushed in the bag with the cabbage it was on top i didn't realize that but they will be okay you know they let out some of their juices i'm pretty excited for these uh, we do have spinach in the garden but it's no longer baby so yeah the baby spinach just adds a bit of flavor for stews and for salads as well i just love how it tastes and yeah let me know if you're also a fan of baby spinach in the comments down below here we bought some cabbage i was looking for the red cabbage but i didn't find it so we got this one i found a recipe online on how to make sour sauerkraut so it's basically just pickling cabbage in salt so if it works out i'll definitely be using it people use it as a topping for salads so i'm pretty excited to try that fermented by myself uh wish me luck hopefully i don't kill myself but anything fermented it's just fermentation you won't die so that's the good part about it so if it works out i will definitely uh, share it on the channel and yeah i'll probably start the the practice run before i come and share because it will be useless for me to come and share something i don't know i have to experiment first to see how it comes out here we have some free range extra large eggs now the last time we got large ones so extra large yeah so basically for sandwiches i don't think i'm gonna be baking much because hey um baking too many things too much uh, you know all that stuff so i'm just gonna be using them for sandwiches and for the wraps 
since we've got some bread and some tortillas. Pretty excited for this. Can you believe it? We're on the last bag. Ah, there's the receipt. I will show you the total just as we are about to end the video. And as we try the master latte together. So here we bought some 30 drawstring pedal bin liners scented. That is a long line. Yes, anyways, it's bean bags. <laughs> We've got some bean bags. I love these so much because you get to tie them at the end and they have a good capacity for the bin and everything else. I like I like them so much. They are convenient. You just pull them. Once you open the slit, do you know what? Yeah, once you open the slit, you just literally pull them and then you break it off where you want the bin to end. Like just like that and yeah you're done then you leave the one open next to the bin to grab the next plastic or bin that you want so they're pretty cool and then just to tie them you just kind of pull these guys and then you're already tying your bin convenient Ooh. you know what i can gym these because it's a lot of kilograms we got some potatoes i've been baking a lot of stuff with potatoes but yeah potatoes are very versatile you can bake them fry them mash them do all the great stuff so we bought some potatoes over here so i'm pretty excited they're just good to have for stews anything especially now that it's winter comfort food is everything here we bought some original barbecuing sauce it's just good to have the sauce around for the meat for anything that you are having, for wraps, anything, it definitely, definitely, definitely works. This one is definitely not vegan. No, it's not. It is not vegan. I repeat, it is not vegan. It is for us flexitarians and meditarians and omnivores and the likes. So yeah, locally made, use it on chicken. So you can use it for steak, chicken, vegetable, kebabs and lamb. Okay, I lie. Let's take it back. Here we bought some original barbecue marinade. It is vegan, as you can see. So you can put it on your veggies and you can put it on your meat. So if you're vegan, you can have this. If you're not, you can definitely have it as well. It adds nice flavor to everything. I put it on everything that I can possibly eat that is savory. So we bought some tangy mayonnaise. My husband loves this so much. And I'm also hooked. And I use it for the wraps, which I'm going to use for these little mini tacos over here here and i'm gonna try um mayonnaise marinated chicken and yeah bake it and let you know what i think so we're in the shops trying to decide which kind of slices or what kind of cheese we we're looking for because there's like processed kind of cheese and then there's this type where they actually cut it from the block of cheese itself because the processed processed one it's kind of like soft and everything else because this one is like firm and mild there's like medium ones as well so we had to like decide which ones and then there was gouda cheddar and all that stuff so my husband had to like do an any mini mini mode to kind of pick which slices we wanted this is basically for the breads or for the tacos that i'm excited to make what's a grocery roll without cheese I, I was trying not to get cheese i was like you know what we're done with you cheese for a minute and then saw the cheese we're like you know what we're getting some cheese slices so yeah excited to be using these as well so yeah pretty excited to be using the mozzarella slices we almost almost forgot the domestos but then i had to go back to the list that i had uh, for the grocery and everything else that I showed you earlier on in the video and then we ended up getting the domestos and everything else that we were missing in in the house so yeah domestos is just a it's a it's a do-it-all type of uh, cleaner for the surfaces for the floors I just love it so much oh my god I forgot to add these to the list so we bought uh, super soft 18 rolls of tissue as well so we're gonna try the instant matcha latte so it just says a matcha tea with a hint of vanilla just add water and it's sweetened already so yeah let's open it together ah oh, so it's sachets that are in here okay mm. oh it smells nice it smells really nice it's the vanilla oh my god it smells nice i wonder what it's like what it smells like when it doesn't have like the vanilla so it says i must add 200 mils of hot water 
this is 250 so i'm just gonna assume what i left is the 50 pour it in there okay so this is how much it makes oh it's so creamy all right time to taste it okay moment of truth we're gonna taste it together oh the sun knew the sun knew to come to me okay it's so it's not too hot i don't want to burn myself Ooh, okay. It's creamy. It's nice and creamy. It's really, really nice and creamy. It's nice and creamy. The vanilla is making it nice and smooth, and they didn't put too much sugar, so you hardly taste it because I'm not putting sugar or honey into my stuff most of the times. So I, if it was too sweet, I would have let you know. It's really, really nice and it's comforting. This is the total for everything that we got. It's 2,401 rand and 6 cents. Thank you so much for watching this shopping vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, cheers for next time. Bye.